Efficient aloe vera mass production meets rising global demand due to its versatile health, skin care and wellness benefits, and the trend for natural products. Let's see how it's made. Aloe vera is immensely popular due to its versatile benefits across various fields. Known for its healing, soothing, antimicrobial and antioxidant properties, it is widely used in skin care for moisturizing, anti-aging and treating burns and wounds. Aloe vera is easy to cultivate, environmentally sustainable and cost-effective, making it accessible to a wide range of consumers. Aloe vera plants thrive in arid and semi-arid climates requiring well-drained soil and minimal rainfall. Large-scale plantations often span hundreds of acres and are strategically located in regions with the ideal growing conditions, such as parts of the United States, Mexico, India, and Africa. The plants are typically propagated through offsets or pups that grow from the base of mature plants. These young plants are carefully transplanted into fields with adequate spacing to ensure optimal growth and ease of maintenance. Once the aloe vera plants reach maturity, which usually takes around 18 to 24 months, they are ready for harvesting. Harvesting is a labor-intensive process that requires skilled workers to carefully cut the outer leaves from the plant base. The inner leaves are left intact to ensure the plant continues to grow. Workers use sharp knives or specialized cutting tools to minimize damage and ensure the leaves are in prime condition for processing. The harvested leaves are then transported to processing facilities using trucks equipped with temperature control to prevent degradation during transit. The aloe vera leaves undergo a rigorous cleaning process. Large automated washing systems equipped with rotating brushes and high pressure water jets remove dirt and contaminants from the leaves. After cleaning, the leaves are inspected by workers to ensure only the highest quality leaves proceed to the next stage. The next phase involves the extraction of aloe vera gel. The leaves are manually or mechanically filleted to separate the outer rind from the inner gel. In many factories, this process is semi-automated with workers operating machinery that slices the leaves and scoops out the gel. Once the aloe vera leaves are peeled, the inner gel is collected into large vats. In factories producing aloe vera on a massive scale, 
This collection process is often semi-automated to handle the high volume efficiently. Workers manually assist or oversee machinery that extracts the gel from the leaves, ensuring minimal contamination and wastage. The gel is passed through pasteurization units where it is rapidly heated and then cooled to eliminate bacteria and extend shelf life. Advanced filtration systems remove any remaining solid particles and impurities, ensuring a smooth and pure product. This stage often involves multiple filtration steps, including coarse filtration, fine filtration and ultrafiltration to achieve the desired clarity and purity. Depending on the intended use, the stabilized aloe vera gel may be mixed with other ingredients. For instance, if the gel is destined for cosmetic products, additional compounds such as preservatives, fragrances and emollients are incorporated. In the context of large-scale aloe vera production, companies often package the gel in bulk containers, such as intermediate bulk containers or large aseptic bags for mass distribution. They can hold 275 to 330 gallons of product, while aseptic bags, made from multi-layered plastic films, provide a sterile environment for several hundred gallons of aloe vera gel. The filling process involves specialized bulk filling systems that include pumps and filling tubes, calibrated for precise dispensing. The trend towards natural and organic products further fuels its demand, as consumers increasingly seek out safe and effective natural remedies. As the global interest in health, wellness and natural beauty continues to grow, the demand for aloe vera is likely to keep rising, sustaining its status as a highly valued and widely utilized natural resource.